good. One. One. Good. One, two. Good. One, one. One, one. Go. Good. That was a nice kick. Go. Good. Good. Go. Good. One, two. All right. Now we're going to work on that high kick. All right, so what I want you to do is really, really grab the slow. Just go. All right, you're not going to kick hard. You're working on the pivot. But see, what I'm doing is I'm bringing that leg up for about here. And then from there, I race. I don't think about the efforts on that anymore. I bring my leg. What I'm doing is uh, pivoting on that toe and throwing my shield out towards my opponent. Okay? And then bam. That's just going to help me keep that momentum going. In the last second, I point up with my toe, and then over here, I point my toe more, so I don't, but not towards you, away from you. That way, I can hit you with that safe part area. You don't want to hit you with the toes, so I'm going to go. All right, so that's what you're going to do. Yeah. All right, if you kick me, it's fine. Don't worry about me, and you're not going to be kicking fast, and even eventually you will. It's fine. I can use the condition. That way, you can feel what it feels like to kick the body part, even the soft part. Right here's the muscle. You know, if you hit me here, it might hurt you a little bit. It's gonna hurt me too, but oh well. We're gonna toughen each other up. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Grab my soul first and record what's going on with the demons and tendons. Alright, and then go a little bit faster and faster. So here we go. And practice on your on that on the heel, yeah. So the main thing is pointing that heel towards me at the last minute. Alright, it's like when you're punching the last minute, the last uh, second you wanna twist and send that little, yeah, that boom. So the same thing up here. Alright, so here we go. I'm ready to go. There you go, good. Again. Good. Again. Good. Again. Good. Perfect. Good. I don't know if you guys can notice that the pivot. Alright, again. Alright, it has nothing with him trying to throw the kick hard. It's more about that heel. Allowing his body to uh, position his body to throw that kick with the least amount of uh, energy uh, exerted. All right, but there's a lot of force coming in because of the for one, the centrifugal force. All right, two, the inertia. All right, once you keep going, I mean, uh, once that foot stop, his his uh, ankle is still going, so there's still more force coming through at the last second. All right, so here we go again, go. All right, I feel pretty confident. He's reaching it pretty high, so pretty soon we're gonna start challenging that. But we're still gonna give him more. Uh, recording to do go. Alright, now we're gonna count into the tiny bit. So uh, when I say go, that's what you're gonna throw. Alright, I'm gonna go one, one, two, and take your time, alright? If it's like one, one, two, wait, and then do the go, alright? Don't just go one, one, two, and then try to do it when you're not even positioned properly. Like I said, I almost lost my balance because I wasn't positioned properly. So if you have to boom, 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 come back and then do it. When you're positioned properly, right? So take your time with that kick. I don't care if it comes out at you know three seconds late. As long as it comes out and it doesn't come out in the wrong timing. Alright, so here we go. One. Remember, grab the slow at first until you get it. One. One, two. Alright, then go. There you go. One. One go. Alright, try to do that one. Uh you go. Alright, at the same time. So one go. This time. One go. Good. One go. Sit. Right. One. One go. Yes. One, two. Go. So remember, after the two, you want to jump back first. Especially in the beginning. You don't want to jump too much forward in the beginning because they're too fresh. Uh, towards the end, that's when you want to do more of that inside fighting because they most people will panic once they do that. In the beginning, most people will kind of evade a little bit. They'll still make them panic, but they'll be able to evade. So you don't want to risk it too much going in too quick on the beginning parts. Um, so as soon as one, two, come back, and then boom, you can throw that go easily. And then how you did one, two, went down. And then one, two, went down and came forward, which is good, but not in the MMA part. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can do that. All right, so here we go. One. One. All right, let's see. One, two, go. There we go again. One, two, go. Oh, you switched up on me. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, go. One, two, go. There we go. All right, 
One, two, go. There you go, good. Find that rhythm to kind of bring it out quicker. You're using a little too much power on that one, that's where you're wasting the, the momentum. All right, so lighter on the one. Remember the one, you're never gonna knock anybody out with the one, with the jab. You're just using it as your pawn to open up an opening um, and to basically misdirect your opponent. All right, so you just barely wanna throw it out, maybe not even hit them. They see it coming, they're gonna flinch and move. Then with the two, you kind of hit them with the kick is when you knock them out or, or hurt them. Here we go. Remember, light one, decent two, and then hard kick. Ready? One, two, go. There we go. One, two, go.